Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite Jedi, BMF Goddess. Today, I want to talk about thirsty motherfuckers. And predominantly, I'm talking about men. But you got your thirsty women out there as well. I hope that my podcast today finds everybody in good spirits and that everybody's doing well. And I thank you for listening. This is just how I see it. This is my opinion. This is what I want to talk about on the subject. If you do not agree, feel free to do so. But I know for a fact that I'm dropping facts. Now, thirsty. For those unaware, that's when a guy or female is showing a lot of interest in someone they're attracted to. You know, when a girl feels a guy is giving too much attention, she might call him thirsty. In the girl's eyes, he's doing too much. Like I said, same goes for females because, you know, I, you know, (laughs) it's a fine line. And I'm not hating at all, but I'm going to tell you like it is straight up, you know, females, post what they want to post and that should be fine you shouldn't get any type of nastiness or disrespect out of that but if you you posting a pic showing your ass and titties or something really vulgar you cannot expect not to get the type of attention that will qualify someone as thirsty all right and that's where we come to what people like to call the thirst trap which is the most basic definition for that is a refined twist on selfie culture. A thirst trap is often a photo used to entice a response, usually in the form of praise, compliments, or other explicit expressions. Like I said, if you're posting that ass and titties, (laughs) you know, we don't really say thirst trap as far as men go. I mean, the guys could post their abs or whatever the fuck, or in most cases of corniness, their wads of cash. And that could be thirst trap for women, for sure. And they're out there. They're, I've seen a lot of uh, my homeboys' uh, inboxes and their messages. And they're out there. There are ladies who are not that ladylike. And engage in the same type of behavior. Now, this is something I know all too well about because I've been going through it my whole life. And while I can say safely, I seldomly post uh, what would be considered a thirst trap photo. Once in a while, when I'm feeling good and I feel like it, I'll, I'll post a full body pic. But I seldomly do so because men don't know how to act. And I myself am in a relationship, so... I don't really care for anyone to see my body in the first place because you guys don't need to. My voice and my work spe- speak for me. But I have gone through all of this. I used to be the girl back in MySpace days who would post explicit thirst trap pit photos, which I would never do today. You know, it's all part of a learning This online life, you know, there's things that I didn't think twice about before when I was younger that I won't even bother to do now. But, um, yeah, what does thirsty mean sexually? The Urban Dictionary defines thirsty as too eager to get something. Desperate. (laughs) This desperation could be in reference to anything. Compliments, validation, attention. But it's most frequently used to specifically mean desperate for sex so you know for the people out there who aren't too familiar with thirsty or think you are that is the correct definition you know how can you tell that someone is desperate they're always available you you know they're clingy they need constant relationship status updates you know, they f- they fish for compliments. They drop their friends. They drop their standards. Rationalize bad treatment, etc. These people you probably want to steer clear from. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, honestly, I could say... For me, it's, it's quite unattractive if you go overboard. I am fine with someone saying, hey, you're beautiful. Okay, thanks. But there's really, you guys, a lot of you men do, 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 do the most. And I have a couple of, I, <laughs> I have more than a couple, but I have some that I'm going to share with you guys. So some comments that I've gotten, you know, over time. And these are just examples of what guys, uh, <laughs> guys are expressing their fucking thirstiness, basically. So I have this one picture, the one I'm going to read you the comment from. I'm just, you know, standing, standing there looking in the mirror. Got my dog with me. And some dumbass comments and says, now that's my idea of perfect. Only thing missing is my baby in your stomach. All right. You're doing the most, bro. Next picture. Uh, this one, uh, you could... Uh, it don't even fucking matter. This guy said, I bet your butt cheeks... Tastes like cotton candy and baby angel tears. You're doing the most, bro. The next one. Damn, boo, for real? They all look like that in Puerto Rico? Gotta get my passport up to date. You're a cornball. You're doing the most, bro. Next one. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I... Could hit those curves at high speeds without jumping the median. You're corny. You're doing the most, bro. Next. What the fuck? Does that look like more fun than my first time to Six Flags? I would call Dora just to help explore. Wow. Just wow. That was so stupid and corny. Like, I blocked him just for that. Next. This guy just said, you need the D. <laughs> I just, come on, man. You guys, how do you even think this stuff is appropriate? How do you, how do you get women like this? That's what I would like to know. Like, cause I'm sure they do be bagging the bitches. They gassing on the pics like this. I'm just not one of them. Even when I'm single. All right, this guy said, I love this picture more than my family. Still a combo. Blocked. Next. This guy said, I would swim through the Pacific Ocean wearing a fish suit just to clean your dishes. Bro. You sound like a fucking moron. Next. You're doing the most. This guy said, just give me a knife and fork. Yeah, I'm going to give you a knife and fork and tell you to kill yourself. Next. I want to put my gentle hands on that. Whoa. I'm going to take your gentle hands and fucking piss on them. You're doing the most. Next. <laughs> this guy said... Oh my gosh, I actually want to drink your bath water. You're fucking... Oh boy. I'm just going through my pictures over the... <laughs> over, over time. And just looking at the comments over because it's fucking... It's, it's crazy. It really is. Uh, This guy says, I would wrestle a grizzly bear for your love. Boy, you guys not only have no game, but I feel nothing when I read this, but rolling my eyes and really disgusted. <sighs> this one says, if only I could touch the hem of your garment. Yeah, and then I'm going to fucking cut you. Next, this guy says, I just want to give you insurance. Oh my God. 
<laughs> this guy says something's rising and it's not Jesus. Cornball. Not because I want to, but I have to marry you. What the hell is that? I don't even know. Next, this guy said, I'd rather meet you than Michael Jordan or Barack, Barack Obama. Um, Sorry, I almost fell asleep on that one. Next, will you marry me? I only work for a small company called Microsoft. Okay. There you go. Those are the thirsty guys that want to be with the wads of cash. Like, come, come get it. You fucking cornball. Yeah, that's another thing. You guys talk about women being gold diggers and all this shit. Yet, you same guys like to flaunt it all over the place. It's almost like here. You're basically setting, <laughs> setting the trap for yourself to find the type of female that you say you don't want. And then, you know, you females with the thirst, thirst trap pictures saying you don't want to attract this type of guy. But those are the guys that go for that shit. Yes, every man wants to see, including a woman like myself being bisexual. I love to see it. But that doesn't mean that you're attracting what you think you want to attract by that. Because a real man and a good man is going to want a woman Who's fucking got some self-respect in class. Not putting anybody down or saying, but I'm, but I am saying, think about it. Think about it clearly. You don't have to be what your pictures may portray, but they do say something about you. Next. Uh, I just left my number on all your old pics. This guy was not lying. I actually remember him now. He really did. Unbelievable. <laughs> Next. Cancelled. If I had to punch a dead nun in the face to date you, I wouldn't hesitate. Wait, wait, wait. If I had to punch a nun dead in the face to date you, I wouldn't hesitate. On that note. Cancelled. Next. Uh, you sexy as hell. You sexy, you sexy as hell. Comment on pic so I can give you my number. Okay, there's more than one thing wrong with this. First of all, bro, you can't write a fucking sentence. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves. Next, can I be your nine to five slave? Oh, man, the corniness just keeps going. So I think I gave you guys enough um, ideas about what, what thirstiness quali qualifies as. And that is men doing the most. <clears throat> oh, boy, I just I don't get it, guys. Why? Like the most recent thing that happened to me was. This guy, who I've known for X amount of years, I had stopped being cool with him once I found out that he had feelings for me. Because, first of all, I don't believe in the whole friend zone bullshit. If I know that any guy likes me that's supposed to be Deke and my friend, I I cut it off. Because I'm not going to... You're not a friend. <laughs> Once you pass that point, let me tell you, it's a very fine line with men with men and women as far as friendship goes, quote unquote, because I'm going to make it easy for you, ladies. If a man, if your quote unquote friend, that's a male, if he was willing to, if he's willing to fuck you, then he's not your fucking friend. You want to put that test? You want to put that story to a test? Then try making a move on him and seeing if he complies. I, I, I totally, I totally will put money on this that most of you females will lose this bet. 
Just try it. I want you guys to try it just so you can see. If you was to make a move on a guy you quote unquote call your bestie or your friend, see if he engages back. And if he doesn't, then you know that he's a real friend. And I personally stopped being friends with men for that reason. I had so many instances where guys were friends with me for years and years and, and waited to a specific moment where they felt comfortable enough to be like, you know, I got these feelings for you, whatever. For me, it's not an epiphany. It's not a, oh my God, this is great. For me, it's very much betrayal because motherfucker, I trusted you to be just my friend, to treat me just as such, not to hide any secrets. And you hiding feelings, especially when I'm in relationships and whatnot. And that's just, for me, it's, it's total betrayal. And I'm going to totally shut you down. And, you know, cut the line at the, at the dots. And I'm sorry. That's the way I am. So anyway, once he told me how he felt. I was like, okay, I'm, I am in a relationship, so this is not gonna, um, it was automatic. I'm not fucking with you no more. We stopped talking, whatever. Been a couple of, maybe a year, year or two. And he sees my man. My man's a pro wrestler, so most people who know me know that because I'm always uh, advertising his stuff and sharing his work. So this guy... Sees him and tries to get all chummy chummy with him and, you know, says all the right things to seem like he's a cool person and, you know, has no other ulterior motives. So then I find out about it. Or matter of fact, he used that as a reason to hit me up. He hit me up and he told me and whatever. And... He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll, I will see him again and whatever. Like, they're going to be cool. And the next thing you know, he's asking me to take me out. Like, on some low shit. Since now he got in good with my man. Now, I know that men and women have the ability to go way the fuck low. Because women do the same thing. Yes, they do. I didn't know men were doing this now as well, but <laughs> like, really? You're going to try to get in goo my man and then go directly behind his back? Like, wow. That is a level of thirst that is beyond disgusting. And motherfuckers should be totally embarrassed with themselves. I'm sorry. Like, really? This is how you get women? I don't understand how about going it, about it the right way. And if she's not available and she doesn't want to deal with you in that way, respect that and keep it moving. Why try to... Because not only that, but he tried to cause heat between me and my man, which didn't work because we saw it. But, like, it's just real... It's low. It's low. What are we living in? It's 2021. Like, people need to get it together with the bullshit already. It's really... We have so much other shit in this world to worry about than stupid-ass people who don't know how to approach women, right? Or respect their space. Like, you're not getting anything special. First of all, I don't know what kind of women that these this behavior works for but i know that there are some that it will work for and it's sad to me because you guys should really raise your standards don't make it so easy for scum like that or men who behave like scum to get you you know <clears throat> So, I'm going to give an example of three types of thirsty men online. Number one is the Mr. Add Me. This guy, this is the guy that ladies, you, if you are a Facebook user, you know, 
they'll like everything you post or say in a group or in your news feed. And then not soon after, plead with you to add me, to friend him or add him to your friends list. And he'll do it a lot. Ladies, if you happen to attract this guy, please don't add him. Because if you, if you do, more than likely, this will be his next move. The number two, the inbox killer. <laughs> I've got a ton of female friends who were really nice to a few men, accepting their friend requests on Facebook and other social media sites. And they've ended up regretting it. Why? Because thirsty men will blow up a woman's inbox. Once they've been granted access, they're not only rapid fire questions about you and getting them to about you and, and them getting together, but they'll pelt you en endlessly with lewd and uncomfortable questions, which leads to thirsty man number three. And that is Mr. Can we have sex now guy? As a man, I don't understand as a man how, you know, how you get to this point. <laughs> This guy perplexes me because the sheer desperate loser vibe these guys give and his lack of awareness, getting to know a woman via conversation is hot. Like, smart men know that great conversations with women are very sexy. That meeting of the minds and wits, it's special. At least I feel so. If a man isn't willing to get to know a woman before wanting to get with her, that's a red flag in my book. Because it shows a serious lack of intelligence and maturity. And for me, that's a dead no-no. This is a thirsty dude that I wouldn't wish upon a female enemy. This is the guy that will fill your inbox or DMs with ultra-urgent pleas for sex. Or Netflix and chill. Whatever the fuck. Come chill at my house. That's another thing, guys. What happened to the, let me take you on a date? It's seldomly that now. Most of the time it's, can we chill? Like, you sound like a fucking moron. So disgusting. I tell you, it's, it's such a turn off. You know, five minutes later after, then a woman tells these guys, you know, they aren't interested. They're more likely to insult you. Ladies, if you befriend this guy and he ends up being this kind of thirsty man, unfriend, block, and unfollow him immediately. <sighs> I am constantly telling my female friends and, you know, that you don't have to give these guys attention. Let them write and trust me, I have the, I, I have plenty, I still have plenty of guys who sit there and keep messaging you and keep messaging you. They will have conversations with themselves daily. But trust me, at some point, either you block them or they're going to get tired. A lot of guys don't. So just block them. You don't have to read their message. Don't read them. Read them for what? And I, I stress this mostly for the women in relationships. But for all women, if you're not interested, don't even give them the time of day. Don't read. They'll see that you read it. Or if you read it, mark it unread. Because that's another indicator. They take that as, oh, okay, she, she read it. She at least read it. As, 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 <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, this is how they think. No, back in the day, you know, I, I'm very, my sister, she will always joke and call me the Spanish sister because I talk how I talk. And she's like, you always talk so Spanish. And uh, um, I would refer to guys as papi. And for me, it's just, that's how I talk. But you can't even do that. Call a guy out his name, forget about it. Not even a hun. Because they would take that and fucking run. And it's like, oh, I'm in there. I'm going to keep bothering her because I'm wearing her down. These dudes are crazy. And I'm not lying to you. <laughs> take advice from me. I actually got that advice from my boyfriend when I met him. And it's been the best thing I ever did. I won't read it. I won't read it. I'll just delete it. I already know. Now that I uh, own my own business, I obviously I'll check messages more. 
um, because, you know, I never know what someone's hitting me up for. But when I know it's just some fucking fuck boy, I don't even bother. <laughs> and you know what? It's less stressful that way. Because I found that when I would check these fucking messages or get dick pics I didn't ask for, it's like, whoa. You know, it's it's too much. Um, Thirsty women does happen too. I've had women be like... For me, again, I'm very much into who you are and your mind over and everything. And as your, you know, personality and character. So as much as I love to see the female in anatomy, I personally want to get to know a little bit more of what's in your head first. And I've had females just blow up my inbox with, with nudes as well and just straight away right away females do do it too they will just send you pictures without you asking for them and the reason i'm saying females too is because i'm not gonna talk about one without bringing up the other i'm sorry yes i'm a woman and i'm always pro women first but y'all guilty too okay when I'm trying to have a conversation and get to know more about a female, I don't want to do that straight up. I want to get to know more about you. I want to see if there's any substance behind the beauty because your beauty does only so much for me, really. And I get turned off really fast if I know that no intelligence follows that beauty. And you got to think outside of all of the social media dating bullshit and think if I'm really, if there's something that I really want, the type of person, you got to think about what you're doing and what type of person that's going to attract. Honestly. Number one, don't go crazy with the texting. If you have recently started chatting and haven't been met, you know, you guys haven't met properly, don't bar their phone with text messages. It's sweet that you two are connecting over online conversations and sharing moments of joy. But it's too early to text continuously. You have to take it slow, especially if the person on the other end is not texting you without prompting. If they are unavailable or not replying, give them the time and wait for the reply. Distract yourself. You have better things to do than wait around for the reply, you know. Spend your time doing other things to maintain a balance. Also, if you make them wait, they might miss you. But if you are available 24-7, they might take you for granted or doubt your intentions. Another important tip is to observe the way your date is replying and respond similarly. For example, don't get so desperate to meet them until you get the same type of response. Get to know each other. Keep the conversation lighthearted. Your text shouldn't mean the other, your text shouldn't make the other person uncomfortable. You feel me? Number two would be to stop fishing for compliments. When you fish for flattery to boost your ego, you aren't seeing things from the other person's view. Will they get irritated if only one way to react is by complimenting you? Will they feel like it's a one-sided thing? Usually fishing for compliments means you say something negative about yourself in order to coerce the other person to refute it. For example, you'll say you look fat and they'll tell you how skinny you look. However, this just succeeds in making you look insecure, insincere, and desperate. Mark my words. The third thing, don't go overboard in real life. If you're going to meet the person for the first time after messaging online, hold your horses. Don't do or say anything that's simply too much. Be sure that you're on the same page and bide your time by getting without getting physical for the first few dates. It's usually less about the physical act, interaction and more about getting to know each other. Enjoy their company and talk about everything you want to. Take it slow. If you want a future with that person, it's important to make the first kiss special. 
let things proceed organically and just enjoy the moment when it comes. Number four, disengage occasionally. Occasionally, take time out for your family, friends, and loved ones. Stay involved with things that you usually do. Don't abandon everyone for the possibility of romance. If you neglect your friends, they won't stick around, which they should, uh, you know. I personally, I know when my friends meet somebody new, I give them their space because you, you want to spend time getting to know that person. But just don't make it like a forever thing. You know what I mean? Don't pretend don't pretend to like things you hate for them. And more importantly, don't embellish the truth. It will make you look bad when the truth finally comes out. You, you know? You have to love yourself before you can love someone else. And if you are trying too hard to be someone else, your partner's not going to be falling for you. But for the person you created, don't be someone you're not. Because you're going to be expected to be that same person you fake to be and how happy can you be for how long not being yourself or when the truth finally comes out feel free to point out things that you don't like as you know while being polite healthy discussions it will help you understand you know each other well ladies here's a few signs that the dude is nuts he has stalker syndrome he knows way too much information about you than you've ever told him. He's socially unaware. Or he's a needy Ned. Or he's a social media maniac. Or he's a hypocrite. Or he just won't go away. These signs are signs for you to get the fuck away from him. To block that person. To not be nice. You have... What, what reason do you... Are you, wait, what reason makes you obligated to be nice to these guys? You don't have to. Who the fuck are they? Nobody. Ladies, be cutthroat. Fuck what they think or want to say to you. If they want to be disrespectful to you after, block them. That's it. Real simple. Now, I have a few ways that guys or females want to you know how to avoid coming off as thirsty you know it's common for people to be head over heels for someone they are attracted to however this expression of love must not come off as an act of desperation or you will just scare the other person away if it happens to you a lot brace yourself for what lies ahead analyze your behavior and keep a check on yourself and make sure you don't come off as too thirsty i'm gonna tell you those now so, I hope my advice does help um, some people. You know, I am talking from a place of not only experience and wisdom, but from a psychological standpoint. My majoring in psychology does help me a lot understand, you know, people's actions and uh, thought process. So, I want to thank you guys for listening. As always, please do subscribe, support a sister, <laughs> and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Till next time, may the force be with y'all. Y'all already know, BMF Goddess, B BMF underscore Goddess on Instagram.